Okie doke. All right. So the next story that I have is the Mexican, the Mexico Ecuador story. Holy shit. Uh oh, we're, we're, we're dropping. We're, okay, we're back. All right. Mexico and Ecuador. We talked about yeah. this last week. So I figured let's, let's recap this. Um, I brought an Al Jazeera video that kind of summarizes where, where we were and what happened last week about why diplomatic ties were caught and Jorge Glass and that whole thing. So I figured let's start with that. And then I've got basically a daily update because I've been following this story pretty closely. So check this out. Oh, you can't see it, Reef. Unless you watch on the giant, I'll see it in a second. We got some, some soldiers and what's not. Right. Roberto Canseco. Jorge Glass. As it turns out, he was held at gunpoint. No hay ningún fundamento para Como hacer esto. Previo, no, esto, pueda pasar. esto es totalmente fuera de toda norma. Lots has been convicted of corruption and bribery, but it was about the Obrador um, mm -hmm. car wash thing, and that's totally shady. And a CIA likely front where they're using this corruption outlet. To, to claim that people are corrupt and it's only their accusation they say it's a violation of international law but it's only this one company Odebrecht not Obrador Odebrecht is the company it's a Brazilian company accusing him of of bribery and of corruption and because of it they want to arrest him but he was given asylum in Mexico and he was in the Mexican embassy when Ecuadorian troops entered the Mexican embassy, sovereign Mexican territory, and brought Jorge Glass yep. out and imprisoned him. Now, man, that's that's very similar to another embassy story we've been talking about this week. This was a Not really big deal. As huh. drastic, but right. So here on Tuesday, Hamlo released the footage. Uh, from inside the embassy, because of course only Mexico could do that. That's their sovereign territory. So Mexico releases this yeah. footage, and here's in context 22 seconds. Okay, I don't I don't need the music. No. All right, Roberto Canseco tries Editor to stop, stop them. The music in your stuff. And they point stop a gun it, at him. Cut it out. The embassy's yeah. library, right? That was the that's guy what, we just saw. That's the guy we just saw video. outside screaming. Now you see them holding yeah. him back as he's trying to stop them because this is Mexican's territory. What are you doing? Yeah. Right? So, so you had that. They put that out. And AMLO now also, uh, Kurt Hackbarth, says it took literally four days from the White House, a scolding from AMLO and the releasing of that security camera footage for the White House to even bring itself to say this about Ecuador's invasion of the Mexico and em Mexican embassy in, Qu in Quito. In Quito, Ecuador. Mm. We condemn this violation of the Vienna Convention on Diplomatic Relations, including the use of force against embassy officials. We've reviewed the security camera footage from the Mexican embassy and believe these actions were wrong. The Ecuadorian government disregarded yeah, its obligations under international law as a host state to respect the inviolability of diplomatic missions and jeopardize the foundation of basic diplomatic norms and relationships. We've asked Ecuador to work with Mexico to find a resolution to this diplomatic dispute. And to that end, we welcome the Organization of American States Permanent Council meeting this week to help reach a peaceful diplomatic solution. Finally, let me say something in Quito, Ecuador. We condemn this violation of the Vienna yeah, garbage. Basically, tepid, mm -hmm. way late, and we knew what happened on Sunday. Well, we I mean, know they're was, willing to spy on plenty of Ecuadorian was, embassies. They've done that to, before. Right, this was too, well, you yes. Know? CIA, yes, they did spy on the Ecuadorian embassy in London, famously uh, on Julian Assange. Um, also, Olabini's got 
Ecuadorian issues too. But um, so April 9th, this was, we did our stream on April 7th. We knew what happened two days before, and that had already been a day after that had happened. So there's no reason yeah. that it took them this long to respond. All right. No. So Kurt's got that. All right. Then you have the president who is announcing that Mexico is taking Ecuador. Now, this is uh, again on Wednesday, taking Ecuador to the world court, the ICJ, after it raided Mexico's embassy in Quito and seized the XVP who had been granted asylum. And he says it's not only a violation of our sovereignty, but also of international law. I've got 52 seconds of AMLO in Spanish. Ecuatorianos, que son nuestros hermanos, para que no haya nada que temer. Eh, Nothing to fear. Como siempre lo decimos, no somos we say, iguales. We're not the same. Nosotros no eh, we're not somos autoritarios. No somos we're not fascists. No podemos eh, we cannot remain silent. Ante un agravio, the face of an injustice, como el que like the one sufrió, eh, suffered by our diplomatic representative in Ecuador. En Ecuador y por eso vamos a and that's why we're going to file our complaint in the Corte International Court of Justice. Because it's a violation, a violation not only of the sovereignty of our country, but also of international, international law. For the Ecuadorian brothers, that's the president of Mexico, Anuel, Andres Manuel oh, Lopez Obrador. Yeah, AMLO. AMLO. Um, you know, it's really funny. At one point... I always I always think he's about to break into, like, super slang Spanish. Que otro wey? Que padre? Like, just See, fucking, you know, randomly. People used to call him, like, the Mexican Bernie. Like, he's the true representative of the, of the people. He broke out of a party, broke, started his own party, and rose to the presidency. Like... He's the model of what, what people had said at one point had hoped that Bernie might accomplish and might lead us to. Um, yeah, uh, so AMLO's taking them to, 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 the court, to court at the ICJ. I don't know what that's going to do exactly. But then we get Al Mayadeen, which is another good outlet um, overseas. Ecuador's ex-vice president, Jorge Glass, who is now imprisoned after a dramatic raid on Mexico's embassy in Quito, has gone on a hunger strike after a failed suicide attempt. Oh, boy. Former Ecuadorian President Rafael Correa and Glass's friend said Wednesday, um, Correa says, and he's in, by the way, Correa, and I think I have a thing from him, he's in Belgium right now in exile, stated that he received confirmation that the medical emergency was a suicide attempt by Glass, who was returned to the prison after being admitted to the hospital, having refused to eat for 24 hours. Again, Ecuadorian mm. police stormed the Mexican embassy in Quito using armed vehicles to arrest Glass two days ago. Ecuadorian President Daniel Noboa announced that he ordered storming to protect <clears throat> national security and arrest Glass. Weird. I don't know how that, how yeah. this guy could mess we with their national kind of security. All right. We've heard this kind of stuff before with Ecuadorian embassies. They did this with Assange too. Right. It was and like that, he's uh, he, he might have suicide because he's got cat shit somewhere. You know what I mean? Like right, because he's crazy. Right here, you've got right. Joe Joe Emmersberger also spoke to Rafael Correa. Has now been uh, Correa has now been charged with sedition in Ecuador for saying oh, that Noboa's okay. government must be held accountable for invading the Mexican embassy to kidnap a political opponent. I mean, just crazy stuff, mm -hmm. right? It's, we, we, I'm thinking crazy pills. What it feels like. Now, Friday, finally, we've got a little bit of good news and some, some bright spots. Uh, this might have even been Saturday. No, Friday night, Ecuador's courts rules that the detention of ex-Vice President Jorge Glass was illegal and violated national regulations for the search of diplomatic missions. Of course it was. All right. Glass remains detained by the Naboa government against the court's ruling. Now you've got a rogue government that's ignoring the, the, the courts. And remember, and, uh, you know, Richie Matter said, this picture will be, this video will be all pasted everywhere and remembered and in textbooks for years. That is the, the first time that uh, sovereignty was violated in that way in an embassy. That's crazy. 
You're not supposed to be able to do that. Right? According to this report, the court ruled that Gloss must remain in jail, though, because he's to complete a prison term from a previous sentence, so presumably he's not detained in contravention to the court's decision, which is they use like a technicality to get around why they don't have to let him out. Very nice. Yeah. Right? Yep. Now, I translated this. In the habeas corpus hearing of Jorge Glass, the defense of the general commander of the National Police of Ecuador, Cesar Zapata, indicated that the order for Glass's arrest was given by President Daniel Noboa, who's been in Miami since the 10th for personal reasons, which I think is also a little shady. Why is the Ecuadorian president now hanging with the CIA in Miami, allegedly? Or who knows what he's doing in Miami, but why is he stuck in Miami for three days when they've got this guy arrested. All right? It's weird. This whole situation is weird. It's a political witch hunt where they're literally locking up their opponents. All right? And this, this literally was yesterday at 4.30 in the morning. All right? Um, so that's what's going on in Ecuador. Um, now, there's still, other than that one accusation by Odebrecht, there's no proof that this guy is guilty of anything. He was granted asylum by Mexico, and if he could get out of custody, he could get to the Mexican embassy, he could be free. Messed up. <sighs> okay. So, everybody... Um, we're still here. If you are able to and of means and appreciate what you're seeing here and want to support us, these are some ways that you can do it. Patreon, Substack, Rumble, and Cash App. Patreon.com slash Indie News Network. Rumble.com slash C slash Indie News Network. You can drop us a, a Rumble rant there. Cash App. You can use dollar sign Indie News Network cash.app slash dollar sign news network. You can actually get there on the web. Check that out. And then Substack, IndieNewsNetwork.substack.com. We publish one every week. 